Hey everybody, Jason Creel, and you're watching Lawn Care Life. Today, let's talk about overseeding your lawn. And I'm talking about southern lawns with warm season grasses. You're talking your Bermuda, Zoysia, Centipede, maybe even St. Augustine. But what happens a lot of times here is when the grass goes dormant in the winter, it just looks brown all winter long. So you've got some of those people, and they want a green lawn even in the winter. And so in the fall, they'll overseed with ryegrass and give it that green look. So let's talk about why you would do that, how to do that, and you know why you would not do that. So those are the things we're gonna talk about in this video. Well, if you've seen some of these southern lawns that have been overseeded, you can tell that sometimes it's been done in a proper way that makes a good result, and sometimes it does not look that good. So let's talk about some of the things to consider as far as why you would want to overseed and why you might not want to overseed. And, and then I can give you a couple of tips on how to overseed. Now for me personally, I don't normally overseed my lawn. I have in the past, but I can think of some reasons that you want to, other than the obvious, and that's just you want to have a green lawn all through the winter. So that's you know one easy reason. But another reason is some people genuinely do enjoy mowing their grass. Now I see homeowners all the time, they tell me, I just love cutting grass. And I have a hard time believing that sometimes, not that some people don't, but a lot of times they, they don't necessarily love it. They may actually hire somebody else to do it. And I'm not saying they hate it. They just not like, if I had some free time on my hands, what am I gonna do, mow grass? But now there are some people who I actually, a very small minority of people who actually do love it. I've got one particular customer in mind and he loves mowing his grass and he overseeds it in the winter because I really think he doesn't want to go several months without mowing his lawn. Another reason you might consider overseeding if you're a southerner is if you always wanted to be able to stripe a lawn and you never had that opportunity. You know, just to confess here, I'm not sure I've ever striped a lawn. Not that I don't know how to drive a lawnmower with straight lines and turn around and come back in another straight line. I feel pretty confident I could do that. But our grasses down here just don't stripe very well. So if you've wanted that striped look, then this is your opportunity. You can overseed that lawn with the ryegrass and it's gonna be probably your best chance to lay some serious stripes like, like these people do with the cool season grasses. I'm talking about the type of stripes that's gonna make your neighbors wanna get their drone out and get some aerial footage. Sometimes people also overseed if they have some sort of situation where they have thin grass and there might be some erosion problems if the grass goes dormant and it's real thin. Sometimes they'll overseed just to have something there to hold that ground in place. Now, if these reasons don't apply to you, then you probably shouldn't overseed your lawn. If you want a break from cutting grass, then don't overseed. If you don't care anything about striping, then don't overseed. But another reason not to overseed is sometimes when I've done it in the past, even overseeded for a customer, I overseeded my own lawn, that ryegrass sticks around longer than you want it to and can even show back up the next year. So here the ryegrass will die out in the summer, but sometimes I've found you'll have some sprouts that start showing back up the next fall. And so when I am on a nice clean Bermuda lawn or zoysia lawn, it's got these glowing green sprouts of ryegrass that show up and sometimes it looks bad if it's a customer's lawn and they don't want it overseeded, then you gotta figure out how to get rid of that. Let me give you a couple of tips on overseeding it besides the obvious of like watering and timing and things like that. I meet with a group of guys maybe once a quarter or so and we get together and are able to help each other grow our business. But one of the tips that was shared uh, recently was that when overseeding, and I never really thought about this, but let's say you're gonna overseed a Bermuda lawn. One way to do it is before you overseed, go ahead and scalp your Bermuda down really low and then a uh, kind of a similar tip is when you're ready to get rid of the ryegrass and let the Bermuda start filling back in the following spring is you can then scalp the ryegrass down again, which the ryegrass at that point will not be very happy about and will allow that sunlight to get down in the roots and start warming the Bermuda roots back up so that it can then begin filling in and taking back over the lawn. Now it's very important also if you're going to overseed your lawn in the fall not to put down your fall pre-emergent before that grass has already established itself. You know, I've seen that before where maybe it'll be a situation where I'm spraying a fall pre-emergent on the customer's lawn and they come behind me and overseed. I had no idea they were going to do that. Um, but it, what happens then is you get some very terrible germination and your overseed job is going to be very blotchy and not it's going to basically just look terrible 
because that pre-emergence is keeping some of that seed from germinating and taking root. So what you can do is go ahead and overseed your lawn. Once that grass is established, then you can go ahead and spray your pre-emergent, which may help prevent some of the poannual and stuff like that that's gonna be showing up. Now, it might be late from an ideal standpoint of putting out your pre-emergent, so it means you might have to deal with some of that poannual and some other weeds from a post-emergent standpoint later on in the spring. Now, when you're ready to get rid of the ryegrass and let the Bermuda come in, like I said, you go ahead and scalp it down. You can use a product like Revolver or a product like Katana, something like that that's gonna wipe out the cool season grass and allow that Bermuda to really start filling back in. Again, you may have some leftover sprouts that show up the following fall if you're not gonna overseed again. Now, if you're gonna overseed again, it's no big deal, but if not, then uh, you just understand that you might have to deal with a few more ryegrass shoots the following fall and spring. Hey, if you're gonna overseed, go ahead and lay some serious stripes. Be considerate of your neighbor, try not to throw seeds all in their lawn. And be sure to post pictures of your striped lawn on social media because hey, this may be your one chance to really have an impressive stripe job on your lawn if you live down south like I do. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jason Creel, thanks for watching and you can check out some of these suggested videos popping up now. Talk to you later.